sweet. All right. Hopefully everybody can hear me. Good. Good evening, everyone. First of all, just like I did on my own stream earlier, um, condolences go out to the Rush family and fans. The death of Neil Pert um, on Tuesday. Uh, probably the greatest drummer of all time for rock and roll music. And never be repeated. I don't think that talent will ever uh, come back around again. Not at that particular level. That's really a hard one to beat. But uh, sad day for Rush fans. I've been a Rush fan for many, many years. So I just wanted to mention that at the outset. Hello and welcome to Fridays on Ice, episode number 146 here on twitch.tv slash DDO stream. You can, only, you can also find me streaming on my own Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Pocklegore. My thanks to Standing Stone Games for making all this fun stuff possible. This is episode number 146 tonight, so we are getting up there. It is January 10th of 2020. Um, I'm going to jump over into Discord here really quick and see if anybody has, is there. It looks like PD might be there. Hello. Hey, welcome. Welcome. You're on Gnome Drake tonight? PD, did you disconnect Hello? already? Yeah, I'm there. Nope, I'm here. You, are you on Gnome, you're on Gnome Drake? Level what, yep, 20? I am on Gnome Drake and I am 15. I am the, I am the lowest in the group. Oh. I know it's True. weird. You well, hadn't I'm heard from sure. Trill yet, huh? No. Yeah, it was his, uh... I guess we'll continue on where we left off, and if he shows up, we can come back and rerun these other ones so that he can close out that quest arc. Uh, oh, hey, Doug. Looks like Doug showed up. Hey, what's going on? Nah, my we, uh, we're on Kyber tonight. Um, we were running the... Uh, we ran the first part of the Sharn quest. We're going to move on to part two now. So that's kind of where things are tonight, at least for a little oh, while. Boy. Uh, PD is, uh, 15. I'm 17. All right. I'll be 15 as well. I hope everybody's had a, a pretty good week. Uh, it was a busy week. I traveled for work this week, so I just got home yesterday. So I was out and about all week, but, uh, still a good week. We got a lot done, get things kicked off for the year and all that. This is the first week where everyone's really, really back at work. So it was, you know, everybody was hitting things pretty hard and heavy this week. So it was interesting. I am, uh, where is her? I think Selwyn is the first one. Oh, we got to take the lift to the Emporium. There, it's up there. Okay. Yeah, I'm at the elevator for part two. Oh, I thought it, I thought it was right here by where she is. Oh, over there. Ah, that, that elevator. So that's where we kick it off at. Okay. We give Doug a second to get here. Sent you a tell so you can invite me. I just saw you. Oh, there you are. I just saw you pop up there. Huh. Wow, I didn't get a tell from you. Hold on, I, I just saw you. It's in general. Yeah, 
I went to general. Didn't have it. It's, you got him. I got him the other way, but look. Well, you can't see. <laughs> it didn't pop yes. up on mine for general. Yes, let me look at that. Hey, you're right. I'm a, if, if you wasn't so far away, I'd throw something at you. Let's see. Why don't you come up here and hit me? And you, get, you can fix my sounds. <laughs> I need to make a trip up there so we can fix your sound problems, huh? <sighs> One of these years. So what's everybody in chat been up to all weekend? I mean, all week. Y'all had a good week? Let's see who's out here. Marju, what's up? Far, Huntsinator. Megaxa. Mighty, mighty me. Ratchin, Ratchinta. Oh, man, we got some cool people out here. That's true. There's Trill. Okay, well, we'll go back and um, finish out that quest arc for Trill. Okay, so we're going to meet back up on the top. Yeah. Yeah. I, have, I haven't done any of them then. Oh, if everybody wants to start the whole thing over, we can. I'm good with that. I'm good with that, too. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm cool. Well, do you want to go and do the underwater one first, then, for the saga again, or just not worry about it? That's up, that's, up to, that's up to Doug and Trill. If they want to go run it, we'll go run it real quick. Point the way, master. Y'all want to, uh, y'all want to run the underwater one in the harbor real quick? No, I'm good without that. <laughs> you sound like PD. He doesn't like that one either. Well, it, it's not necessary except for the, the thing. I can always go back. And... Yeah, before you turn in the quest arc, yeah. All righty. Okay, are we starting at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah, Doug hadn't run any of them. It's a very good place to start. So it shouldn't take us long. Now, I have Aaron that I have not used yet. So if anybody has Aaron with time left on it, let me know. And y'all can. Y'all have any hirelings, Trill or Doug? I just have 10 pieces. Word carefully, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be right next to the quest. Oh, we jumped in the quest. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting outside the quest for Okay. Isabel like Dumont teammate. waits for you here, atop one of Sharn's lofty towers. She can help you contact Lucien Vaughn.
I'm right next to you, PD. I'm on mercy. Oh, he oh. left. Oh, hold on. I got to. I have to send you an invite. You changed yeah, characters. Oh, you're on num num. Okay. W's on mercy. M E R S E. Is Mercy in the kill? No. M E R S E, you said? M E R S E E. Ah, God, that's not what I wanted to do. There you are. Ooh, y'all are complicated. Ooh, nice Dragonborn. Fashionable shield. That's a cool outfit. Oh, share the Stonewall, the outfit's an error. Look at him. Look at him. Cute dragonborn butt. I mean, he's got it going on. <laughs> well, I didn't check out his butt yet, but I'll do that in a few moments. <laughs> That's a cool looking outfit, though. Well, we got to share out. the quest for drill I'm in mercy is that mercy as in mercy or mercy it's mercy it's almost French Are we ready? Yep. Isabet tells you to take the elevator up to the terrace, then speak to Lucien Vaunt. Her employer wants you to pass along some information about the Stormreach Beacon. You enter the boarding house, an island of quiet in the hustle and bustle of the city. A genial halfling nods to you from behind the front desk. A violent explosion shatters the tranquility of the boarding house and reduces the elevator to a smoking roof. You don't have to fight the door. Windows shatter and agile flames swarm in from spikes. The boarding house is under a bomb of This looks more like an office than a boarding house. I'm Lucian Vaughn. Vaughn has rented this entire operation and transformed it into his My place of business. My device will transform life for thousands of people in Sharn and beyond. Despite some minor setbacks, the Vaunt Arcane Assistant will be available in shops soon. I always thought there was mobs in here, but apparently not. Oh, we do have collectibles, though. I forgot about that.
Yeah, I think with this side's first. The explosion well, it doesn't really matter. Shaft on this floor as well. You have no choice but to use another route to reach the terrace. Rubble, rubble. Here we go with the mouse thing. God dog, if that was wicked. I was doing. I was playing earlier. It was happening all the freaking time. I hope they're gonna. I think they mentioned that name. Shrimp Tom mentioned something about it in the, the stream on Wednesday, but I don't remember if they said they were going to address it or not. Okay, copy of a note. Where did I hit that at? Where's the note? Did y'all hit the note? I hit the note earlier. No, no, it's over here. It's behind us. Okay, thank you. I just, I, I Q spammed and found it, but I didn't actually click on it yet because I wasn't sure where it was. You want to go knock this out? Well, let's go clear out that room first. Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's the shrine. Good idea to open it, though. Yeah, hey, PD, we didn't do this room earlier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, asked if you wanted, I asked if you wanted to. You told me that we decided the not to go back. The construction rumbles to life and then promptly explodes. It's probably not supposed to do that. Yep, fascinate didn't work. Not on a red name anyway. gonna shrine Yeah, I'm, I'm always out. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> I get the effect of being in the water, just standing next to it and not actually jumping in.
It's like we, yeah, this is the way out. I'm coming. New print. the elevator shaft as well as the nearby door. You won't be getting up to the terrace this way. in the competition hmm. there's no competition you're better than me up to the terrace is just ahead, but one final group of attackers cross her head. You hear a piercing call from the back of the terrace. You can see the ramp. The figure on the skycoach ahead matches the description of Lucien Vaunt. He seems unruffled by the attack. I have a message for you, says Vaunt. The beacon belongs to me now. I paid the Boromar clan good money to get it, after all. Don't think for a moment that you can challenge me in my city. You're just setting yourself up for a fall. Vaughn's companion makes a gesture and the terrace collapses beneath you.
Vim or Zealoth is the next? <clears throat> Zealoth. Yeah, Zealoth, Red Rain. You step into the also one of the names of one of Peter Gabriel's better. Step inside quickly. There are eyes everywhere. No, I am. Zealoth pulls a switch and nods toward the back of the building. You hear the scrape of stone on stone as the concealed back door slides open. You walk out into the streets of Cogsgate. Towers loom high above, so tall they block out the night sky. Anyone who knows what's good for them will stay indoors tonight. The blood has fallen here, and it's up to you to mop up the mess. Why am I detecting hidden something hidden over here? I'm not sure. You push open the door to the apartment. The surprisingly well-decorated rooms show signs of a struggle. Your stomach clenches in anticipation as you near the crime scene. Felon must have spent his recent winnings digging himself out of debt. Imagine meeting your end right after getting yourself clear. At least he died in the black. After examining the corpse, you can see that he was killed by a poisoned crossbow bolt. His last gambling ticket Anybody was wanna try? just out of reach. Felon is just one big cleaning up on a match in an underground... Step lower in, Tim, if I remember right. Despite clear attempts to make this look like a break-in, all of Felon's valuables are still in their proper places. Can you intimidate? 29? Try it. I have a 34, Diplo. Oh, we'll try it. Didn't work. Too late. Yep, too late. Cookies New friend. Doors to the gambling hall are wide open and its chairs are empty. Though the nearby tables are still covered with food and drink. Looks like the customers left in a hurry. Who's the bard? A chest full of coins was left here locked and untouched. Oh, I went to go get the resident. You can tell that there's more to this than you can. Who's the what? 
I'm one of the people you have to talk to for the optional. As you turn to leave, uh, I was just asking who the bard was. Outside the building, you strike down the last of this group of Dask thugs and check to make sure there are no more nearby. Now to leave. Well, away, if you guys get characters up to level twenty, I could start bringing them up. Primes, you head back to the Wolf Gate, where Zealoth awaits your results. Everyone loves Alice, thing. <laughs> Zeleth unlocks the gate, revealing a small lane that burrows deeper into the heart of Cog's Gate. The door to the pawn shop is unlocked, just as with the other crime scenes. Inside, the shopkeeper's body lies forgotten alongside all the other cast-offs in her shop. A different body, but the same song. A crossbow bolt dipped in poison, and a palm covered in slashes. But this time a new detail catches your eye. A shattered pin bearing a Bon Arcanotechnic symbol. A closer look at the keg reveals a hidden compartment. Filled with smuggled goods. The murderer could have emptied the pile, and yet only Lord's lamp was taken. Armed with your findings, you wonder what connects all these gruesome crimes. Some small packages lie in the cauldron. No doubt they were hidden there so they could be fenced on the black market later. The last of the heavily armed pathling thugs falls. Another alley stretches before you. The more you learn about the victims, the more questions you have. You can only hope that Sulfur's close fire is the answer to this. Was it a grenade? The yeah, the bomb bugs, whatever they are. No, it was glowing. It was blue, and it exploded, and it had eight legs. That's a grenade. If it didn't have eight legs, it would have been a spider. I've watched that Red versus Blue. Adventures. Despite your own shock at meeting him again, you hope that Zulkas is willing to answer your questions. So you're too busy dealing with this troll bodyguard to notice. The troll topples, yet another casualty of this bloody night. Now, to meet up with Zealot. You could have left that. Okay.
Can I have some music? <laughs> you want some music? What do I have? Oh, that's the problem. I don't have music. That's it. Zealoth shakes her head, the weight of her brother's betrayal settling over her like the dirt that falls in the streets from above. Glad that they had all that DR to hire them. The secret door slides open, revealing a Medusa. Oddly enough, she doesn't seem surprised to see you. Instead, she motions for you to enter. Lestra suggests that you help the Dask oppose the Boromar clan, since the Boromar have made an alliance with Vaunt. More slashes on the palm, and this time you see the pattern. You wonder how you could have missed such an important clue. The slashes were literally the killer's signature. Whoever did this was a child letting her know. You stoop down and search the contents of the room. The secret is clean for his life when the murder got to him. That letter told you what he needed to know. The victims all worked for Vaunt and were killed because they knew too much about his operations down in the cogs. You find a security ledger embossed with Vaunt Arcane. Boy, they went down symbols. quick. A quick glance reveals that every victim had worked for Vaunt. It's too big of a coincidence to overlook, especially since a note in the margin talked about cleaning up loose strength. You strike down the last of the attackers. Up with Zealous to fill her in on the clues you found so far. She points you towards an alleyway northwest of where the problem is less. A familiar voice. you understand and leaving your signature behind was beyond stupid now zealoth is on to us it's only a matter of time before she and those adventurers come barging in here Shakes her head. 
Sometimes it's a stranger who holds the knife. Sometimes it's family. I let blood cloud my judgment, and I'll pay for that every day. Oh, nice day. shoes. But I'll keep going. I'll move on to the next crime and the next. You can't just stay inside when trouble rains down. Not even if it never stops. Somebody got a decent ring, too. Cool. Y'all picked up some pretty cool loot. Quiet in the chat room tonight. Everybody must be uh, chilling at home. Legendary victory. Can I get a guild invite? Where are you? As soon as I see where you went to. Where'd you go? I'm um, next to uh, PD. Yeah, I don't know why I can't click on him though. There we go. Did you get him? Yeah. I gotta buy some ingredients real quick. What do you need? I got extra dust. Uh, I'm a druid. You can still use Omni Dust. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Almost 32. We got a little over a thousand. Yep. Oh, we are so close to 32. I know. That's what I said. Um, Vin is next, right? Yep. Vin is next. All right. This adventure, like so many others, begins on a town. You're supposed to meet a disgruntled fourth employee here. He'll give you an off the record tour of nearby weapons. Victor asked you to wait for him outside. Looks like getting inside his warehouse won't be a problem. Victor leans over and whispers, I don't want to do my job. If you'll just follow me, I'll, I'll cough when it's time for us to part ways. What you do after that is none of my business. 
sounds quite nervous. It's okay, bitch. We'll take your time. It's cool. <sighs> Victor coughs and nods at a flimsy looking grate. Then he hurries away, disappearing into the night. That must be your way inside. Time for you to investigate the warehouse. Someone is burning the midnight oil behind that door, but the sturdy door is fitted with an even sturdier lock. Uh, I am really having a, a tough time with this mouse crap tonight. Yeah, now that you mention it, it's been happening a lot more lately. Oh, come on! Man, really bad. Here we go. This quest has done that before. Remember that one time we couldn't hardly do anything in here? Great open. I couldn't even grab that potion of wonder. Somebody else did. Wonder who did that. Look like a bard to me. You hear a scream of pain from up above. A scream cut short with steel. Yes. Come on, puppy. <laughs> there you go. You hear a gruff voice howling. The roof! The roof! A more measured voice responds. What of it? Excited no bounces around. The, the roof is on fire. We don't need and no water. The air of confidence surrounds the orange is diamond who appears to be their leader. Let's pick up the pace, shall we? We still have to destroy the lab downstairs. Red diamond or yellow or blue diamond. Just take the stairs, asked the tiefling, because uh, Victor blue. told us not to be seen. Now then, portal lagging behind. The knoll notices you on the way out. It turns and howls. Back, father, it is open. Run! There we go. Go get him, team. I'll stay right here. You hear a familiar uh, voice. No, there are technicians down there. I'm going to be at the beginning.
You can't touch me! This is one of Paul's prototypes! Make me completely invincible! Victor mashes the button on the magical device in frustration. Oh, we gotta go down. You guys get those Same. cookies down there? Same plan as yesterday. You guys distract and I'll get the anchors. Where are we going? We gotta go back up and go all the way down to the basement again. That we did yes remember yesterday? Probably not. I remember a couple of days ago. And then Yeah, I'll take something. Oh, whatever. Yeah, me too. I'll take something. A familiar voice sure. comes out up ahead. Yeah. Time's up. Your golems will have to finish this. Time to move, people. In taking orders, I'll have some lemon water. All we have is rheumatiz medicine. Yeah, that's good. They're going to destroy it. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You went before I was here. Wasn't ready. I don't even have a chance to try. Hey, Titan, what's up? Man, we trying to forget the week. No work drama. I actually had a good week at work. No, uh... Thank you.
saw a bow laying on the ground, but it disappeared real quick. Oh, it Who got it? Wasn't me. Oh, thank you. It, it was sticker, Sticky Fingers Gnome Drake. That's not surprising. Slide the hand. You gotta watch that guy. Don't just stare there gawking. Move. Did they just break another one, I think? Yep. Dimensional anchor. Oh, Jesus. Why is rubber band? Yeah. Victor directs more guards away. They went downstairs into the secret lab. After them. <clears throat> ah, Titan. Some people are kind of funny about people working on their vehicles and stuff. He probably didn't mean it personally. Hopefully, anyway. A hissing and chilling chant comes from somewhere below. Vaunt! Vaunt! As this chunk continues, forge rates coalesce in the air around it. Oh, a champion one. Champion. Let's just kill him. I just got the orders garb. I don't even know what it does. Fortification, 94%. Physical sheltering, 19 <laughs> Nice. Yep, we made 32. Whoop, whoop. Thank you. Oh, yeah, not like a little room of tears. Get a legendary victory. Nice. I'm going to go run and repair the ship. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Oh, 
Yeah, hopefully it's uh Like I said, Titan, you, you might have he might have just been finicky about who he lets work on his truck or something. Some people are just like that. It's cool. I can get that. <laughs> PD, it's one of your favorite types of gear. I got I got a helmet of search plus sixteen, but it's also got insight plus seventy four percent. You know you want it. I'm I'm yeah. saving it just just for you. Because <laughs> I I want equipment that makes people want to attack me. That's right. It's just for you. It's got your name on it. It's it says PD on the side. Excuse me. Hey, Relona, what's up, bud? How's it been going? How's the new year treating you so far? By the way, what do we get? The Grandmaster's Dojo. Ugh, oh, we got two more levels to get the Proven Ground. Yeah, and and then we need 37 to get the banquet hall, and then we'll probably be happy. At least for a little while. Because that's the ones we want. Well, the Collegium of the, the, Collegium of the 12 is nice. Gymnasium of the 12. What'd you say? Some gymnasium? The Collegium, Collegium of the 12. Oh, I thought he said gymnasium, man. I heard gymnasium. What's the next Let's one? Get Let's get the danger room and see how well you do. Same old song, Savia. The singing chick. Okay. Savia. Meanwhile, over here, the old guard just hit 110. Ooh. Congrats. Are we all here? Ready? No? Not yet? I'll wait. Dinner's long gone. I'm working on a sleeping pill. Patron. Oh, trail's here. It's safe to go in. <clears throat> Did you get that water trail? She sent it via email. That lemon water. Yeah, I do. I got it right next to me. Thank you. You've arrived at Club Clock, a popular awesome. spot owned by the Boromar clan. Counselor Sevilla Patella pulls some strings to get you on the bus. <sighs> Perhaps now you can drive a wedge between the Boromar and Vaughn. But it looks like there may be trouble before you even get inside the door. I just read a story it's actually based on a true story about a little kid that lives in a basement. He's got cancer. He's doing, his mom has to move it because he's got treatments that he's got to get. And they move into an old funeral home. 
and uh, it ends up being haunted and all that. It was pretty cool. It's based on a haunting in Connecticut. It's a good story. So I hope that's not. I hope you're not in an old mortuary type. That would be spooky. Must not be on the guest list. The bouncer opens the front door, allowing you to enter Club Clawfoot. Oh, here we go. The dusk thugs lurking outside have set the assistant's nerves on edge. You he wants you to check on Club Clawfoot's employees place. before he'll let you talk to the manager. Don't say. We must part. You cast a charm spell on my heart. You notice a sign on the door. Rat infestation. Exterminators have already been contacted. Do not open. Oh, I can't do either one of those. Nothing terribly unusual. You can tell Fenwick that all is quiet in the nightclub. Oh no, you should be good, thank these clawfoot dinosaurs. Says that the door mechanism Oh, is funeral home, you're good. It needs repairs before the beast can be returned to their rightful halfling owners. Why do halflings own raptors? Are they like snack sized? The halflings are snack size for the raptors. That's what I mean. Yep. They're food. Tis food. <sighs> hey, we zergin. Don't say that we must part. Fenwick is you relieved to hear that the club is safe and secure. He gives you permission to approach Regina, Don't let club me go. manager. Don't leave me cry. A piercing alarm reverberates throughout. The alarm! Someone's preaching our magical words! It must be an attack! Quick, adventurers! Do it, you do this! We gotta go find the rest of them, right? Yep. Let's go. There's one. There's one. I quit. I ain't wasting fascinate anymore. By the time I finish playing it, this group kills it all, so.
Cookies in the door. Cookies. I have failed, but the others will crush you. Dusk. Forever. More attacks are on the way, but for now, you have a moment to rest. <laughs> the magical alarm triggers once again. Oh, look, there's cookies in midair over here again, too. There's even more. I missed those. Kitchen's empty. Foundry. There we go. back at the giant yeah we're over here No, right down here. I see him. Oh, in the hall. Got it. Once again, harsh sounds issue from the direction of the city. You hear panic shouts, screams, and snakes. Hey, Farg, what's up? I might need a smaller violin. Who knows? Will your 
your help in keeping her and Encore alive. Regina has promised to do everything she can to cut ties between the Boromar clan and vaunt Arcana Technic. Little bitty violin about like that. <clears throat> Legendary victory. I'm going to take level 16 real quick. Okay. My head to my ship. Uh, which one are we going to do next? Cap. Just share it out when y'all pick it up. I'm heading back to my ship real quick. <laughs> I like that far. I like that. Ooh, that's a good price, Titan. What's that on Amazon? Amazon, new egg. Have a good night, Trill. Oh, you heading out, Trill? Yeah, I got work. Oh, okay. Take it easy, man. Have a good one. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great evening. You too, bud. I'm saving that helm for you, PD. I don't really need it. It's yours anyway. I know you want that uh, insight. It's all about you, buddy. It's all about you. Well, it is all about me. Never heard of Oris. Never heard of him. I have been cues. In fact, I want to upgrade to 27 inches. Mine are 24. Hey, nuclear warfare. Yeah, we're doing good. No, Not much dying yet. I think we're a little overpowered for these quests, but we're still running them on hard just to be safe. What you? What you up to tonight? <clears throat> Jesus Christ Almighty, I've never heard of these monikers before. Why are they so pricey? Because they're the same specs as the 24 inch Ben Q's that I have. Ah, maybe it's the extra ports. Dude, that's some sweet looking monitors. Oh, Titan, you might have turned me on to something new now. Titan got me in trouble. I'm going to be spending money now.
1440p free sync, G sync. Uh, these are a little bit better. I'm here. HDR, okay. We're just waiting on PD. Yeah, probably right there. That's it, Titan. My wife's not going to be happy with you. Yeah, mine are uh, 124 hertz. Wait a minute. They have NVIDIA built into them? That I didn't uh, realize. Hard pass. That's it. I'm getting new monitors. As it is, I need to get an external graphics adapter for my uh my new laptop here. You're more than welcome to send the banks my way. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll keep that in mind when I uh swap them out. They're, they're sweet. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed them. I just want a little bit bigger screen. It's plural. Because I use two of them externally. Gnome's here. We gonna go in? Oh, I didn't even see him. I was checking out the tiefling behind us. Wasn't paying attention. He didn't even say anything. He just kind of snuck up there. You gotta watch him. He's sneaky. What's the hell? Who's 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 Next to a sky bar. Picking on me. It's just like being in the off in the elevator at the office, all sitting there running our mouths and wondering why the elevator's not moving. It's because nobody pressed the button. Ever had that happen? Nope. Yep, we have. That, that's what happens when you get eight IT people in one elevator. Office. <laughs> That's what happens. About time you got here, grumbles the old man. They've already started. Get on board quick, like, and I'll ferry you up to their window. Remember, stay quiet as a mouse. <laughs> Mr. Vaunt. I assume this is about your request to join the Platinum Concord? Which was turned down. Due to your lack of uh, subtlety, shall we say? <laughs> yes, well, I prefer audacity to subtlety. I admit that subtlety has allowed the Orum to do as they please with the Five Nations for many years. But what I have... I don't know about senior moments. Ask PD. He knows about senior moments. What cannot be ignored are those Zendric bloodhounds sniffing at your heels. I You're would, but I forgot about them. Mr. Vaunt. Not for long, my friend. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. Isabet? I like that. Please come in. Now, Isabet, I know you invited our mutual friends from Stormreach. So this dude gets to stand here and watch don't his cry. daughter get dead. Say, yep. Don't cry. That's better. Mostly dead. 
This is just business, is it? Just business. <laughs> I'd prefer that you do your house cleaning when I am not present, Mr. Vaughn. A necessary demonstration of my device. I wanted you to see my improvements firsthand. Hmm, not quite dead yet. A calibration issue, perhaps. No matter. Urk, Gish, take Isabel outside. We will adjourn to the yacht. It's time for the next act to begin. Vaughn's henchman releases a strange whooping bark, and the darkness around you erupts with a choir of menacing responses. An ambush! Damn us for fools! Shouts Casper. The old man produces a bow from somewhere as Gigman shouts to send from above. Vaughn's first group of assassins, but they're surely not the last. Vaunt doesn't go in for half measures. Casper wheezes out his words. Ooh, reminds me of my days in the last war, but with more chest pain. Too old for this, for sure. Come here, we gotta talk about Isabel. She's still alive. I, bet my I already talked to him. You've Thank you. To help rescue Isabel. To do that. Oh, you guys zipping off that talking to Casper. Yeah, I got all the over here before we ever. I know. We we did the exact same thing a while ago, Doug. So it's it's not it's not uncommon. Casper, those source leads can't go too high or too low without losing their enchantment. Keep above the fog and don't try to push over the higher walls, and you'll be fine. Here they come. From the west. See, this just shows that they can have, they can do mounted combat. Don't forget to grab a fresh, uh, As you can get one. The crew of creatures takes up position on the bridge, spoiling the first fight. The low bellow of an ogre appeals to drill shots and goblins. A strange looking goblin glides up above the bridge. The limp form of Isabel lies on his source lead. The goblin shouts abuse at his gnoll escort. Those nobodies made mincemeat out of your fleabag gnolls. I told you the direct approach wasn't gonna work. I'm gonna go beat the hook on my We goblin meat. Vaunt said to work together as a pack. as he runs at his retreating comrade. In the distance, you hear the gnoll snarl. We cannot look weak? No! Those who look weak die first! Always! It's the stupid who die first, dimwit, replies the goblin. Let my flying pets soften them up. Now move before the fireworks start. A mob of gnolls and goblins have taken up positions atop the A swarm of bats clouds the street before you. Some kind of metal glints on their bodies as they flit about, blocking your path. Uh, an ambush down, but more to come, I'd wager! Shouts Casper. 
Head north, friends. Up the skyway. I'll watch your back. The door of a nearby bookshop opens, and another cloud of bats streams out. Inside the bookstore, goblins scramble to release one last bunch of bats. Midair, new friend. Exploding bats? Guards, what a circus! Who's going to explain this mess to the city watch come the morning? Mutters Casper as he coasts along behind you. Nope, those are gone. I was going to get a new disc, but those are gone. Discs up here. Coming. Yep. <laughs> Catch them in time. You can get a new one from killing an old. Air skiff equipped with a mage fire cannon waits for you near old Tummy Tower. Goblins swarm over the tower itself. It's time for some new ones. Three sky skiffs descend, and a supporting patrol of gnolls moves to block your path. Is there any end to Vaunt's mercenary army?
You were here. This city watch station is locked up tight and stands as silent as the grave. Can you get back in there? And where the guards yep. excellent and given a reason to sit this one out. Looks like they're using sky wards, Casper tells you. Your source leads might suddenly stop working out here. Be careful. The mercenary Gish stands here, his jaws frothing. The goblin says you're strong, but he's just a weakling. Enough waiting! I'll butcher you now! Feast on your flesh and keep all the glory for myself! You're just gonna get killed! <laughs> You're just gonna get killed! Right after these outlanders! Gish charges to the attack. Gish collapses from his wounds. Before you can finish him off, a chanting voice calls your attention to the north and above. A tiefling sorcerer completes his spell on a ledge above you. Gish vanishes, reappearing at the sorcerer's side. With another quick gesture, both the tiefling and the knoll vanish from your sight. The goblin's voice calls to you across the gap. That went about how I expected, so that leaves just little old me. A great big bounty, no partner to split it with, and some nice payback on the side. I'm all ready for you, so come you all ready? on over. Don't make me wait all night. The goblin's yep. voice echoes. Apparently we lists. are. Remember, I can always drop Miss Isabel on her head and knock off early. Then I visit you some other time. You get me? High above the construction yard, a sore sled slowly drifts up. Isabet's body lies upon the sled, completely still. The goblin is nowhere to be seen. Like fish in a bear. Catch!
got a present for ya. I got him. Now that you have time to catch your breath, you notice the assassin source sled descending slowly, holding the limp of Isabeth. You have reached Isabeth, but all is not well. Isabeth is no more. She was okay when I was here. I don't know what you guys gone. did. Says the goblin. Boss man ate up her soul with his new improved vomp. Why use your own when you can use someone else's? Sorry, sweethearts. Them's the breaks. The goblin stands at the platform edge, an odd yet strangely familiar blade piercing his torso. Remember this? Jack Jibber's blade? It's why we get to keep meeting like this. Anyway, can't stay. Need to see a fallen angel about a spell. You know how it is. See you soon. The city around you is finally quiet. You now face your most difficult task. Telling Casper what happened to his daughter. Oh, I got paid. I said, is it bad? Look out. What can I do? Sweet. That quest is a lot of fun. I'd love more aerial combat like that. Gonna, I want to run in cylinder very quick. That was in the part one, right? Yep. That's what I thought. I thought I remembered it right. Being we just ran it day before yesterday and earlier today, parts of it. Actually, I may end up calling it for the night. I got a lot to go do tomorrow because I got another trip next week. So I don't want to stay up too late anyway. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think it's I'm going to call place. it. It's a good place to end it. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I won't be able to finish all the way through part two. So there's really no point in starting it, in my opinion, unless we can get all the way through it, you know? Though. Oh, it's always a ton of fun. I mean, I, it's a it was a quiet evening for the most part, you know. But heck, I still had a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys running it with me. 
No problem. Thanks, everyone. Yep, I'm going to call it a night. I hope everyone has a good week. Be safe. Play a lot of DDO and Lotro. Enjoy everything, and I hope everyone takes care. Thank you all. Good night. Good Appreciate night. you watching. Thanks, Rolona. Thanks, Farg. Thanks, Titan. Y'all take care. Okay, if I can get to the right screen here. <laughs>